Hi, I'm Nari Dansari and in this video we're gonna talk about volumes. This video is for beginners, so without any further ado, let's begin. Before we begin, let me tell you that there is a playlist of videos that we did talk about most used nodes in Unreal Engine 5. So I think you should watch it because it's too much important and there may be some nodes that you didn't know about that you should use. And we did talk about timelines, we did talk about blueprint classes and in this video we're gonna talk about volumes, okay? So if you go to create and in here go to volumes you can see that there is a lot of volume in here okay and i will show you some of them but in the future video i will talk about it more and more with the advanced stuff because this video is for beginners first volume volume that i want to show you is just this blocking volume so what this blocking volume is do it's just preventing the player or anything go through it okay so let me make it a bit bigger like this and now if we run our game we can't go farther we can go through it and it's invisible right sometimes you need it believe me so this was for block volume so let me delete it um, another volume that i want to show you is kill z volume so what it does uh, for example let me delete this side of our wall okay and bring this kill z volume to here for example so let's say when your player found the bug and can go through object and fall down and in some time it should be dead right so let's just make it big this way and this way so if we play now and we go to here you can see that our player is destroyed and it's dead now okay the next volume that i want to show you is this pain causing volume so for example let's make it a little bit bigger if you click on it there are some property in here that the most important one is this pain cause and you can see it has transform and collision and all the things that we have till now but the new thing is pain causing volume so what it does let's say you have a fire somewhere and you want it to cause damage to the player right so first of all you check this pain causing and in here you say how much damage should person take in every second so it will get one damage per second in this case in damage type you can create new damage type but uh, you can use the default one and this pain interval it means what is the interval between every pain every damage that should player take so if you put five in here okay and the player if uh, stay five second in this volume it take five damage okay so if you change this to 0.5 what will happen each half of second it will take half of damage no matter what the damage per second in one is one per second so if you put four in here for example the player should stay four seconds to take four damage okay so that was for pain interval and the interrupt so if the player goes to that fire or this volume should it take damage when it's entered this volume or not if you uncheck this it will wait four seconds in this case and it will take four unit of damage in here and you can have it in your blueprint class or blueprint wherever you are you can access this and you can uh, for example decrease the health of the player for example so let's just delete this the next volume that i want to show you is this trigger volume that is the most important volume in here and let me make it a little bit bigger than this so you can see that we have this trigger volume in here and whenever we are in this volume we want something to happen so for example jump scare so whenever the player go to any room we can put a something a volume like this at the interior of that room and we can show the uh, that jump scare to him so how we can use it in blueprint if you open the level blueprint in here First, select that trigger volume that you have. You want to have ref reference to, and right-click in here, and you can create a reference to that trigger volume, and you can see it. You have it here. And for example, we want to see if player is in this volume or not. First thing first, you should bind this to some event for example let me go up and you can see there is a lot of bind in here but in this collision bind there is three bind that we can use 
First, bind of event to an actor begin overlap. Okay, when uh, any actor overlapping with this trigger volume. Okay, and we have end overlap and we have we have actor hit. So, for example, this bind event to an actor begin overlap, we can have it. So, we can bind an event to this trigger volume. So, whenever something, whatever it is, enters this trigger volume, we can have it. We can know, we can get whatever is overlapping with that. So, for binding this, we should have something like event begin play, for example, event begin. Okay, so with that, we connect this execution pin to here and it will bind that trigger volume to begin overlap. Okay, so with that, we have an event. So we can add a custom event in here. We can call it on begin overlap or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so whatever that is overlapping with this trigger volume we can get the name of that or that actor with this other actor so this overlapped actor you can see that it's saying overlapped actor so it will be trigger volume and this other actor is the actor that is uh, entering this trigger volume so for example let's just just get the name of this actor that is overlapping with our trigger volume so with this we can say print it doesn't show the printer scene and you can uncheck this and you will have printer scene and what it does it will change that object to get the display name of that object and we show it okay so like this first we get other actor that is overlapping with our trigger volume and which we, we get the display name of that we put it in inner string of our printer screen and whenever this uh, our player is triggering this volume or entering this volume this printer string will happen okay so let me show you compile and you can see if you go close you can see uh, at the top left it show the name of the, the actor that is overlapping with this trigger volume and let me show you again and you can see it show it so with that you can see that it get the actor that is overlapping with our trigger volume so what other we can do about it for example let's just delete this i want to check if this other actor is our player or not who is our player so there is a first person character in here okay and you can see it in here as well first person character we want to check if the this first person character is overlapping with our trigger volume okay so how we can do that uh, if you watch my videos about most used note you know about this if you search equal in here and then just check this context sensitivity so it will show it clearly equal so we want to check this actor if it is the actor the first person player actor right so know that we select this first person character in here we can get the reference uh, reference of it okay so create a reference of that and connect this to here so if the actor that is overlapping with our trigger volume is first person character in this case print a string okay and in here let's just connect this to our printer screen move top and in here we want to say for example player enter our volume okay so let's just compile and see what will happen if we go to our volume and you can see it says player enter the volume and this is how you can use the equal and operators and i did show you how you can use them in most used nodes part one in this case we did event bind event to an actor begin overlap let's just add a end overlap as well so let's just copy and paste this in here with Control c and Control v i wanted to get another reference to this trigger volume that's what i did okay so in here I say bind and find that and bind event to an actor and overlap and you can see it give us this and like we did it before you can see that I want to bind both of these begin overlap and end overlap to our event begin play but I can't do it like this okay if I connect it to here it will be disconnected from there so what we can do about that you remember from flow control that I did show you in most used node part 3 and part 2 in flow control in utility in here in flow control we have something like this this sequence okay we can use this sequence to add this to here and we say trigger this after that trigger this as well and it happened 
fast and you can see this execution line is going through this and we can double click on over node in here so we create a reroute node and we can change it like this so it will be more readable right so double click on it and change its position so now it's more readable okay so now that we have this both of these should work okay so we should add an event in here and the event that i want to use is custom event and we can call it and and overlap okay and like we have it before let's just copy and paste these Control c paste it here and in this case i want to I want to say if the current if the actor that is ending overlap or exiting our trigger volume is our first person character just show player exit the volume volume okay so now we can connect this to here and now if we compile and run our game whenever we go to that trigger volume it says player enter our volume and if we exit that volume it says player exit the volume and you can see it whenever you go to that volume it says enter and after you end in the overlap with it it says exit if you didn't get any of this that i did talk about please comment below i will explain to you more and more but if you watch my videos about most used nodes and beginner Unreal engine 5 you will know how to do this by yourself i didn't teach nodes i did show you how you can find out about nodes and how you can find out how to use them right it's my honor to have you at the end of this video please hit that like button so i know that you like this video so i will create more about this stuff thank you very much for watching bye